Oh, that is funny. And we are live in studio with Brad from Brown Derby. How are you today? I'm good. How are you today? I'm really good. Thanks for having us at the uh, big party last night. We did the Skinny Girl tasting uh, to help Isabel's house. That was a really cool. Yeah, we raised over sixteen hundred dollars for Isabel's house. Awesome. So Very cool. Thank you. I hope everybody had a good time. Every time you guys do anything that involves drinking at Brown Derby, we have a good time. Just want to throw that out there. Um, we, you can watch uh, the stream as we sample drinks, talk about it, and see what we're having if you want to try these specific products. Do you just go to our Facebook page, free? Yep. Just go to our Facebook page, and uh, there's a link to our Ustream channel right there. Okay, so there's new wines out that we have to try. This is all about fun wines today. You know, not too complicated, not over the top, not anything, but just fun with a little some sayings on it. Brand new to the market. We just got them in about a week ago. Okay. Uh, first time I'd ever seen them was about a month and a half ago, and got a pretty good reaction when I brought in some samples from everybody that we, I showed them to. So we thought we'd bring them in called Text. XT sellers. Okay. There's four different varietals and they have some fun little sayings. So whether, you know, you know, I kind of think of them when I was tasting through them, think of that kind of yellowtail quality, good, you know, inexpensive but good. Like a house easy, wine. Easy to drink. Yeah. Okay. Um, they've got, we've got LOL, which is the Riesling. Yeah. You got LMAO. Laugh my <clears throat> off. You can say ass. <laughs> oh, I can just, say that? Just don't say this one. Why the face? <laughs> 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 yeah, let's see, and we've got OMG. And then you got OMG Chardonnay. So they're all uh, funny sayings that you probably use texting or on Facebook, something like that. And it's just kind of a fun little wine that you can try. So we're doing what? We're going to do the LMAO Pinot Grigio, and it is from Italy. I mean, these are, these are real wines. They I mean, are. They're not like just white blends that you don't know what's in there. They're uh, legit. They're legit wines. This is from Italy, which is... Their most one of their most famous grapes is Pinot Grigio, and it's clean, it's crisp, it's, it's light. Okay, let's see. And it may make you LMAO. Right. It says on here, uh, after many years of working for other people in the wine business, I decided to create my, create my own wines and went to the best sources around the world and negotiated the best prices to offer quality and value. I needed a brand name for my wine. I gave some samples to a good friend with an excellent palate and asked for his opinion. He tasted the wines that evening and texted me, OMG, good stuff, and then the wine was born. That's kind of a fun story. There you mm -hmm. go. What are we trying now? This is the Pinot Grigio from Italy, which I poured you a bunch, and I didn't bring my dunk bucket this, this week, so. Uh-oh. Be careful. Be uh, that means we have to drink it all. Means you gotta drink Darn it. it all for lunch. <laughs> That's okay. We have fun on the naked lunch on Thursdays after you leave. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I really like this one. So yes, yeah, I don't have a spit bucket. Drink it up. So the laugh my ass off Pinot Grigio. Is good. Is I like it. Good. And I like white wines. I love Pinots. I think it's really good. I wanna try the um are we gonna try all of them? We're gonna try all of them. I'm gonna pour you a Slam it down. No kidding. I'm taking shots of wine. Take it easy on me, buddy. I got a little fucking little fog from last night, so. Mm -hmm. Make sure we turn our stream channel off <laughs> before the naked lunch. All right, just a now just just, just a taste. So okay. OMG Chardonnay. Now this is from Italy as well. Italy is not known for Chardonnay by any means. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it is made there, but they, you know, it's just not something they're known for. Okay, and uh, it's so, made with the Chardonnay wine. So I it's kind of unique that it is Italian grape. Chardonnay. Yes. I was trying to sound smart and say that it's made with the Chardonnay grape, and I said it's Chardonnay wine. <sighs> Sounded smart. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Last so, night after our, uh, our skinny girl sampling, I uh, was giving directions to somebody to come over to my house, and I was saying, yes, look for this vehicle in the driveway. And they're going, well, I'm driving on your street, and I'm not, there's nothing in the driveway. And I'm like, oh, it's because I'm not there. I'm in it. <laughs> like, oh, I had too much fun. Mm. That's what happens on White Cranberry Cosmo. No kidding. Just kind of gets... No kidding. Okay, I like the Chardonnay even better than the Pinot, and I liked the Pinot. What about you, Shadow? I like the Pinot. Um, the Chardonnay is good, but I would pick the Pinot over it. The, all right, let's Personal go red, opinion. and then we'll go back to white, because okay. Riesling's going to be a little sweeter. This is uh, WTF. Why the Face, oh. Pinot Noir. Why the face. Why the In face. your face. It's very good. It's, this 
is the red Pinot Noir. And it is from Germany, which does make Pinot Noir. You've probably never had a German Pinot Noir until right now. Okay. Because there aren't many of them out there. Uh, but they actually can make very good Pinot Noir from Ugh. different areas. Ooh! <laughs> That's usually not a good sound. <laughs> that is definitely a WTF reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be so uh, fruity and exciting and tart. It gave me that whole like almost, my lips. Almost sweet. It's yeah, it's good. Color. It is. It's good. So it's definitely not on the drier side of red wine. It's no. It's definitely the sweetener, you know, Woo! sweeter side. Uh, they make a wine called Dornfelder uh, from Germany. It's a sweeter style red that when a lot of people come in and ask, they're like, hey, I, I want a red wine, but I want it sweet. And, you know, Missouri makes great red, red wines, but sometimes people are looking for something else. And we'll go to Germany for sweeter reds. And this is kind of that same style. Definitely is a sweet red. I really like that. And that could be dangerous. It's almost Kool-Aid-esque. <laughs> it is good. Wow. My mouth is like pucker extreme. Should be called WTP. <laughs> now the last one is Riesling. I love Riesling. And it is from Germany, which just is like known it. for Riesling. Exactly. <laughs> Is it made with the Riesling grape? Is there a grape called Riesling? It is okay. Riesling, and that is the grape. Riesling. Okay. It's actually from the Moselle region of Germany with the Riesling grape. Well, it's not as um, not as sweet as I would as. Maybe it's coming off that. Really <laughs> wine, so. Yeah. We're just making. We now but have a blend. These these wines actually have a Rieslings have a higher almost acid level. Okay. So it can kind of cut the sweetness a little bit versus Chardonnay and uh, Pinot Grigio. Awesome. I like them all. If you want to try one of these wines, the LOL, WTF, LMAO, or the OMG, I would suggest the OMG. Oh my God, Chardonnay. Oh my God, Chardonnay. I think it's my favorite. What about you, Shadow? The Pinot, which is the, like the Pinot Grigio. Uh, LMAO. What about you, Brad? I'm going to have to go, I'm going to go with the recent one today. That's Do you like that one? Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. It's kind of hitting. Maybe it's because it's lunchtime and a little Riesling and something sounds kind of good right now. They're it's all good. Sandwich and Riesling. But if you want the red, remember it's going to have that sweetness to it. So it's not going to be that dry red wine. So these are new to the market. New to the market. Uh, we have them at the store. I uh, have them down on, in many stores right now. So. Okay, cool. And they're, they're, they're fun wines. They're inexpensive. Whether you get them for a gift or have them for yourself, they're six ninety seven on sale. So. Holy moly. Okay, you can buy a case. <laughs> case of 12. And you, yeah, can't, you know. can't miss the labels. Yeah, the labels they, are They fun. jump out at you. Yeah. Check it out on our new stream on our Facebook or pictures and our blog at q1021.fm. Brad, as always, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Have fun wine day. day.